Greetings, foolish mortals. Count Trevor here, and welcome to another top video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, tonight we'll be talking about my top 10 spookiest Thomas episodes. Why top 10? Well, for one thing, October is the 10th month of the year, and Halloween is around the corner. So I think it would be a perfect time to do this video. Also, not only will I include the classic episodes, but a few CGI ones too. Oh, and I'm not going to include Tale of the Brave because that's a special, not an episode. Now without further ado, let's begin this brand new Top 10 of Spooks. <laughs> Number 10, Pursley's Ghostly Trick, aka Ghost Train in the UK. This is the very first Halloween-themed episode of Thomas and Friends. It starts with Percy telling his friends a story about the ghost train, but Thomas doesn't believe him and says that he's not scared. Later, Percy accidentally crashed into a broken cart, which covers himself with lime. And because of this, Percy plans to play a trick on Thomas by playing as a ghost. My favorite bit in the episode was the ghost train theme by Junior Campbell and Michael O'Donnell because it's so intense and satisfying to hear. But what makes this even more scary was when Percy says these lines... Percy. No, no, not by the smoke on my chimney, chim chim. I'll chuff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. Here's Johnny. Pretty spooky, huh? Oh, and did you know that there was a deleted scene where Sam the farmer was driving Terrence the tractor instead of a horse like in the books? Yeah, quite interesting, isn't it? Number nine. Thomas, Percy, and the Dragon. This is one of the many episodes that was adapted from the magazines for season 3. It's about Thomas taking a Chinese dragon from the docks and taking it to the carnival. But later that night, the Chinese dragon gave Percy a fright, and it happened again later the next day. To be honest, I like this episode for its message about bravery, and that sometimes we all do get scared even if we don't feel that way at first. In addition, I love the design of the Chinese dragon because of its red and yellow colors, as well as the lights underneath it making it look spooky at night. Oh, and did you know that the original Chinese dragon was green instead of yellow and red? Yeah, I think I know why, because not all dragons have to be green. They can be any color. Number 8. The Flatbeds of Fear In this episode, Salty tells Thomas a scary story about the Flatbeds of Fear which later left him and his friends to believe that the tale might be true, but it turns out it was just the wind blowing through the pipes. For starters, I do like the sound that the metal pipes make, particularly in the US dub because I thought the UK version sounded a little bit weird. I mean, it just sounded like something from an alien horror movie. And I also find it weird that they reused Stanley's model for Salty's story, but hey, it's for the better I guess. But other than those things, this is a pretty good episode in my opinion. I give it an 8 out of 10 stars. Number 7. Henry in the Dark In this episode, Henry goes to the steamworks to be repainted, but Kevin accidentally gave him glow-in-the-dark green paint, which causes him to, you know, glow-in-the-dark. What's useful about this paint is that due to its glowing color, it lets engines and other vehicles know what they are about to come across at night. I thought Henry's glow-in-the-dark paint looked pretty awesome, it just made me wish that it was made into a wooden toy instead of what we actually got. And furthermore, I thought the jump scare with Sir Topham Hat with a bucket in his head was pretty funny. Normally I hate jump scares because they hurt my feelings for some reason, but this one gets a pass for trying to be funny. So therefore, I give this episode a pass. Like, a 9 out of 10 or something like that. Number 6. Scaredy Engines I watched a few episodes of season 6 to find the best Halloween episode. First I watched Percy and the High Mine, and then I watched Scaredy Engines. But I think I found the right one, and that would be Scaredy Engines. In this story, Thomas, Percy, and Duck were tasked to work in the smelter's yard for a while before they go and see the fireworks. And during that time, Thomas couldn't stop teasing Percy about being a Scaredy Engine. So Duck decides to play a trick on Thomas to make him see sense, by making him work alone in the smelter shed. There are plenty of things I like about this episode. First of all, I love the Halloween costume designs on the kids at the beginning of the episode. Secondly, 
I thought Edward's spooky story about the ghost engine looking for his lost whistle was pretty well told. And I even liked the creepy atmosphere of the smelter shed and its spooky shapes. In addition, I like how Al Baldwin said that the chains felt like ghost fingers on Thomas. But my favorite part was this scene. It was naughty of Thomas to tease you, Percy, said Duck. He was only playing, said Percy. I hope he hurries up. I wouldn't want him to be late for the fireworks. He's after me! I don't think you'll be late, said Duck. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. But in the end, Thomas apologizes to Percy, and together, they watch the fireworks from Timmy's sheds. Oh, and I do like the fireworks as well, because they look pretty cool. Overall, this is probably the best Halloween episode of Season 6. I suggest you give it a watch. Number 5. Escape. In this episode, Douglas visits a scrapyard where he finds Oliver and Toad who are trying to escape from scrap. So Douglas decides to help them escape and take them all the way to the island of Sodor for safety. Now, I know what you're gonna ask. What makes this episode so frightening? Well, because of one brief thing that happened. And that would be the jump scare at one point. Don't believe me? Let me show you. He was just shunting, ready for his return journey, when... That sounds like a steam engine, he thought. See what I mean? Also, I do like George Carlin's Brooklyn accent for Oliver in the US dub, even though he lost it in season 4. And because of that small jump scare in the middle, I consider this episode scarier than Thomas Percy and the Dragon. So therefore, I give it a 9 out of 10 stars. Number 4. Haunted Henry. Season 5, in my opinion, is the best season when it comes to scary episodes. In this story, Henry and his crew were warned by somebody to not cross the viaduct, but they were determined to find out when they decided to break through the level crossing and the Charleston trucks plunge into the ravine, which I thought was one of the best crashes in Season 5. Later, it was revealed that it was Old Bailey the Fogman who tried to warn them about the viaduct. And to repay him, they helped him operate the old station, and therefore, he became a new station master. Many fans say that Old Bailey looks a lot like George Carlin, and that's understandable. But to me, he kind of reminds me of the late Christopher Lee, not only in terms of his gray beard, but also how grim he sounded in the UK dub. If Christopher Lee were still alive today, then I think he would make a great voice for the character. Overall, this episode was great, not only for its thrills and chills, but for its subtle message that you should always be careful and pay attention to warnings, or something like that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also love the bit where Henry says, Stupid bird, at one point of the episode. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny, but I can understand why they censored it in the PBS Kids Sprout airing. Number 3. Stepney Gets Lost I don't know about you guys, but I love Alec Baldwin's Cockney accent for the character because Stepney is named after a district in London, and people there were known as Cockneys. Some fans say it sounds Australian, but it's actually not. Anyways, in this story, after Stepney delivers his train of quarry stone on time, he gets lost and ends up at the scrapyards. When he was all alone without his crew, the two diesels, Airy and Bert, kidnapped him and took him inside the smelter shed to be scrapped. Luckily, Stepney was saved by Sir Topham Hatt after the grabber almost grabbed him. No pun intended. In my opinion, this is one of my favorite episodes of Season 5 because of its intense atmosphere of the scrapyards and smelter shed, as well as the creepy looking grabber crane that tried to grab Stepney. But what makes this episode even more scary was that it involves attempted murder. And for some reason, Ari and Bert never got punished for what they did, but hey, at least Stepney was safe now. Number 2. Rusty and the Boulder I know what you're gonna say, what's so scary about a big boulder? Well, for one thing, it sometimes shows its face for some strange reason. In this episode, Thumper was working hard digging a hole into the mountain, which leads to Boulder falling down and rolling along the tracks chasing Rusty, Scarloe, and Reneas until it crashes into the sheds next to Percy. The climax, in my opinion, was the best part of this episode because of the fire explosion at the end, which is a nice throwback to the Tugs episode, Munitions. It's too bad we don't get explosions that often in Thomas, though I can understand why. I have a scary story for you guys about Boulder and why he's a supposed character. Boulder was once a human who was a brave warrior who fought many battles, 
but because of his boasting and ego, he was cursed by a wizard by placing his soul into a big round boulder, and since then, he stood on the mountain using the same exact frown. And if anyone dares interfere with his territory, he will roll down the mountain causing great destruction. How's that for a scary story? Now before I get to my number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Phantom Express. I thought this episode was alright for the most part. However, I did like the bit where after Percy falls into the moat, Stephen, who was there first, said, I see you found the meeting place, which I thought was a very funny line. Percy and the High Mine. It would have been number six. Toby's Discovery. I was going to include it, but because I have so many choices for Halloween themed episodes from season five on here, I don't want to include it. And besides, the only problem I have with it is that Bertram is just Duke's body repainted dark brown with Smudger's face. That's lazy. And the number one spookiest Thomas episode is Duncan Gets Spooked. In this episode, Rusty tells Duncan a scary story about a lost engine trying to get home only to fall from a high bridge and into the swamp. Of course, Duncan doesn't believe him at first, but his driver and farmer decided to play a trick on him to teach him a lesson. I do like the bit where Peter Sam's train of sleigh trucks falls off the bridge. I thought that was a pretty cool crash. I also like the bit with the fireflies that form the shape of the ghost engine. The reason this is number one is because it involves death of a fictional character in universe. And death rarely happens in the Thomas universe. And that's why I consider this the spookiest Thomas story in history. If there's one thing I don't like about this episode, it would probably be Alec Baldwin's Scottish accent for the character, Duncan. I don't know, it just doesn't sound as good as George Carlin's. Sometimes it slips off into a British accent. I can tell he was trying at the time, but I've heard better Scottish accents in media than this. Oh, and did you know that the ghost engine was just a reuse of Scarloe's model? I wonder if he and Scarloe were siblings. Overall. These are the best Halloween episodes of Thomas and Friends, and I highly recommend them to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know which of these are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? Next month in November will be Wooden Railway Month because there's news about it coming back in a new format. This is Trevor Davis saying, Happy Halloween!